Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick and I'm the artist. So I would like to share with you all this particular series called Art Plus His Word. This art piece that I'm going to talk about today, right, is called From Above. This whole series is called From Above, but this particular one that I'm going to share is called Mercy. So maybe let me brought you through what is the inspiration behind and what happened and all the miracle things that, that, that appear, all right? For the inspiration of the art piece, right, is from the verse Zechariah 12.10 And I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they look on me whom they pierce. From above, Abba God sees his beloved son Yeshua hung on the cross between two sinners. The most defining moment in history where mercy and the grace of God satisfied the justice and the judgment of God where God poured his wrath on Yeshua as he knew no sin became sin for us at the cross, Abba God did not only predestine the time, but he chose the place in Deuteronomy 12, 4 to 5. Okay? So it says, You shall not worship the Lord your God with such things, but you shall seek the place where the Lord your God chose us, out of all the tribes to put his name for his dwelling place, and there you shall go. Okay, so this is a verse that talks about um, this whole entire art piece where I took my inspiration from. Alright, so maybe let me bring you through the, uh, the process of how the creation is, right? So, and uh, the lady in red is my lovely assistant, which is my wife. So, this is also one of her favorite pieces. And uh, this is the foundation that I'm putting on right now right the foundation and then later on you start to see i started pour the resin yes this is where the resin started and as you can see resin is a uh, basically very liquid uh it's, it's, it's liquid form and it moves a lot sometimes it moves so much and also it depends on the the base whether whether is it level not level is there any curve okay so with resin right the, 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 the fun part and the scary part of working with resin is, is because uh, resin has a very unpredictable inherent uh, properties that you, can, you cannot predict many times. Um, and many times it turns out to be totally different from what you, what you planned. All right? So this is the one that uh, 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 the process that you can see and I'll show you the finished product. This is what you, the finished product looks like. Okay? So, well, you can see that the, the finished product, right? Interestingly, that okay, all the all the effects that it turns out to be, um, it, it, I can't control that. Many of times, I really cannot control that. All right, maybe let me brought you through why do I create in this, and maybe to many of you is okay. Why is this? I I I, I it's pretty abstract, okay. And the top, I will show you this orientation. North is facing upward, south, and then the east, all right, on the right side. And basically, on the right, you can see the darker line, that is a valley, okay? So that is called Kidron Valley. Kidron Valley is also one of the longest valley for this, uh, in the mountain of Jerusalem. And then, in the center, this particular valley is called Valley of Cheese Maker. Then on the left, it's called Hinnom Valley, and it's also Valley of Hell. All right on the right side okay where kidron valley is you can see that is where the temple mount is right and then this particular plot of land is city of david is which is the southern part as you can see the southern part is um, this lower point this is the higher point and this the um, temple mount is one of the highest point in that area so over here is mount olives the whole area is mount olives all right and those who've been to Israel, and those who've been to the Mount of Olives, you, you, you will know when you stand on top of the Mount of Olives, you see straight on, okay, directly opposite, you will see Temple Mount. So this is orientation, and I hope you, you get it, all right? So, and uh, some of you may ask, oh, okay, what is that three, three airplanes, small airplane, okay, on top? Actually, there's not an airplane, okay, that's where the tree cross is, okay? And uh, each of the cross, okay, is actually only one centimeter, maybe about one centimeter uh, width, 
each of them so it's very very fine very detailed and I have to wear magnifying glass to, to, to paint it okay and out of this right I'll let me bring you back out again to see what is that tree valley uh, represent this tree valley right just now you mentioned that you mentioned that God will put his name on Jerusalem right so where is his name is hidden in this tree valley this tree valley form a letter Shin okay it's a Hebrew letter. This Hebrew letter Shin, right, uh, is also a picture of the name of God, which is Shaddai, Shin, Shaddai. All right. So that's where the Lord says, I'll put my name in, in, in Israel, in Jerusalem. Uh, it's amazing. God, it's God's name is everywhere. And in Second Chronicles 6, 6, it talks about, yet I've chosen Jerusalem, that my name may be there. And I've chosen David to be over my people. In Deuteronomy 12, 10, 12, 11, then there will be the place where the Lord your God chose to make his people abide. There you shall bring all that I command you, your burnt offering, your sacrifice, your tithes, your heave of offerings of your hands, and all your choice of offerings which you vow to the Lord. Okay, so God don't God did not just choose the time, but he also chose the place where Jesus will be sacrificed. All right. So now, what the other part of the fun thing and amazing thing that I like to work with resin is also, um, and 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 many times when I do it right, okay, I just have to let go and let go and trust that whatever it turns out, that is what the Lord will make it for me. Okay. So when I pour, I, I just pour this tree valley and I mentioned to you, right, this tree valley is one is Kidron, Valley of Cheesemaker and then Hinnom Valley. But interestingly, on the left, which is the Hinnom Valley, as you can see, okay, it also means Valley of Hell. Hinnom means hell, right? In the ancient days, the people do sacrifice there, like this, from animal to even uh, uh, human sacrifice. They do it there. So it has a name called Valley of Hell. So, and... Um, the interesting thing, right, is right now, it looks fiery. It doesn't happen for Kidron Valley. It doesn't hap uh, happen for Valley of Cheesemaker, but it happened only for the Valley of Hell. So these are something that I, I, I really enjoy. I really enjoy doing it. And at the same time, right, um, there are many things that people see along the way. Um, like example, I have, I have people told me that they see, they see lion paw, paws, all right? The, the, the paws of the lion right and then at the same time there is an eagle as you can see um, okay I move aside can you see the eagle wings spread out and this is the top of the the wings this part this this is the this area is the, the other side of the wings all right and then this is the the head the, this is the eagle beak and this is the claw so these are things that you you I, I, it didn't come across my mind only and uh, never plan for it and you can't plan for it actually you cannot plan and you uh, just have to trust god and and let go and let god and end up these are uh, things happen all right it's so beautiful and at the same time i have a friends uh very privileged i have a good friends in in israel her name is uh yael so she actually wrote a song for this art piece all right so this song is written in uh in hebrew but she also wrote in one small portion which is in english so i took the english part to, out and uh, i would just like to i would like to show it to you all right to let you guys hear and uh, and and be be blessed by it okay and those who really want to hear more about this whole song you can go to my channel and uh, just search for patrick bazalio you will be able to see that and uh, listen to the whole song it's amazing it's so anointed all right, so I will play for you, play the song to you guys and uh, enjoy. Red was me. 
lovely song. So basically, um, in closing, I would just like to say thank you for listening. And uh, and those who like what I shared, you can subscribe to my channel. And I will be preparing more to, to, to launch out and to share with you all more of my art piece and my inspiration behind all the things that I've done. Alright, stay tuned and uh, signing off. Bye-bye.